Story Club is really special to Anne. There's times where Anne will go there, you know, with Diana and Ruby especially, and they'll just have this bond. And there's a couple special moments that do happen in the abandoned sheds. So we'll just write another Bert story. Another Bert story? You always read a version of the same thing. No, I don't. About a dashing hero named Albert, Herbert, Rupert, Hilbert. Hilbert! That's ridiculous. It's kind of a comfort zone for Anne to go and just kind of think through a couple things. And, you know, when she's there and she's writing stories and her imagination is just bursting through, I love doing those scenes. You just go there and they just pour out their imagination on these pages, regardless of whether it's good or not. You just go, whatever you think in your mind, just write it down. And I feel like that's really, really good in order to cultivate your imagination. So I like that they're doing that. And please take your nose out of that book and help me here. How about a tragical tale of a sad and handsome scientist who one day stumbles upon a secret that could save the world? Oh, Anne, however do you think of such amazing things all the time? I draw from life, Diana. The Story Club scenes are always really, really fun. It's so majestic being in just like the small, broken down shed with like moss growing over it. It's always really cool. I love how we always kind of have our different stories that we tell and they're all kind of our own versions of different stories. They're all kind of written with our own little pizzazz. When you're on set, you know, it's kind of difficult to read as many books. Even like reading the scripts and stuff, I feel like that's me reading stories. I have quite a few favorite books. The Art of Being Normal, it was a very, very good book. I really like the storyline of that. But I mean, I've always said like English is my favorite subject. I do have a really big passion for writing and reading.